All right, the Miata is going off to the shop to get the engine swapped. So I'm gonna try to start it up. This is the new engine. This is the old Miata. Here we go. Here we go. Runs really well. With three cylinders. So this is the old 2.0 liter engine and it is going out the top. You can also drop it out the bottom, but it comes out the top pretty easily. If you remove the wipers and the cowl there, it, it pops right out. This is the new 2.5 liter out of a 2017 Ford Fusion. And if we go under the car here, you can see that the power plant frame, the transmission, and the engine are all removed now. Now we're gonna put the engine on a stand and take a look at why it failed. And if you haven't seen the previous videos with this Mazda Miata, cylinder three had pretty much zero compression. And so right now we're putting a camera down the cylinder three spark plug hole. Oh, geez. The edge of the piston is broken off there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all like, that does not look like I should be there, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see rings right here, you know? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I think, I think we found your, your, your hole. Look, I can see... Oh my, I don't even want to go through before I get the camera stuck. How bad does it look? It's not bad. Not bad. You launched the shit out of it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I launched, I launched that pretty good. It was starting to make a lot of rattly noise, so I don't know if uh, I was breaking it or not. What's What's wrong? Like you see, the, you see the input shaft right here. Yeah, what's wrong with it? There's like marring on it. Oh, um, did you see it, the input shaft on the transmission? No. It got a groove in it. Cause. Uh, because the, the bearing, see the groove back here? The bearing failed. Oh, so it, did this come back? Yeah, so, so I had to put a new bearing in because there was no bear, there was basically no, no uh, bearing in there uh -huh. when I got the car. So it wouldn't shift. So I took it apart and found that. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the balance shaft from the 2.5 engine. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a big boy. Here, you wanna lift it? Yeah, sure. Can I do one hand? Yeah. So I can GoPro it? Yeah, that is heavy. 20, 15 pounds. You could, you could do some curls with that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, this thing is a, that's used to counterbalance the motor. Dang, I got some, uh, okay. I got some Girl Scout cookies if you guys want them. Thin mints and uh, caramel. You don't like those? Kind of. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, never mind. These are these are. Well, and s'mores too. You know what? I'm I'm taking that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, can I take a cookie? Go, dude. I think I got some, bro. Oh yeah, boys. We're in business. So these are the new cams in the engine. The timing chain is not on, so they have not been timed yet. The friction washers are in. Perfect. <laughs> scared, scared the shit out of me. I was like, no! Need, need a new chain guide? Yeah, I was like, new chain guide? Fuck. Yeah, sorry, it's taking a little longer. <laughs> That's okay. All right, coming down to this side of the engine, you notice that we transferred the oil cooler over from the stock 2 liter. All right, going under the car, there are my Olins and my front sway bar. 
and going back over to the engine just doing some final work putting it back together you can see that the intake is actually on there and in order to put the 2 liter intake on the 2.5 they had to port match it so if we come up close here you can see that the intake is ported to match the cylinder head and up here the timing cover is shaved for the 2 liter belt system and that is it. Miata, Larry. Larry, oh, 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 Miata. Larry. All right, Larry, let's go. Here's your car. Here you go. Prepare yourself. I think we're there. Larry, you need to sit. You gotta sit. Okay? Sit. You're being a bad dog. There you go. There we go. We're gonna do a second gear roll on the throttle. Up the hill. So right away you notice a couple things. The car has a ton more power, specifically in the low end, but with the cams it carries it all the way to redline and it is quite significant. It feels like a Honda S2000 but a Honda S2000 with torque and it's just a fantastic drive. The problem here is I'm looking at the air to fuel ratio on my current tune and the tune is a mail order tune from Fab 9 and it's way way off the car is running extremely rich and so I don't really want to run it like this because it will probably damage the engine if I continue running it like this uh, but drivability wise I can accelerate from 50 miles an hour in six gear it has it has a tremendous amount of torque it's a completely different car and so you can see why people love the 2.5 swap so the next step here is to actually get it dyno tuned because I've had some really bad luck with these mail order tunes on the uh, forums. So I'm going to go to a real tuner, I get the thing dyno tuned so that nothing gets screwed up, and then I'll take it out to the racetrack and test it out. And the real proof here will be in the lap times. We'll be able to benchmark this versus the stock 2.0 with a tune on it and uh, really see how much of a change the 2.5 brings to the Miata. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.